Hi, I'm Robert Dempsey, top coach and speaker for entrepreneurs, certified Canfield trainer in the success principles, and co-founder of Awesome to the Core. And I am sharing tips on how to avoid burnout and maintain clarity while building your business. So far, we've looked at taking 100% responsibility for your life and deciding what you want. So today, day three, we're going to talk about unleashing the power of goal setting. Tony Robbins said, setting goals is the first step in turning the invisible into the visible. And that's exactly what goal setting is all about. So what is a goal? A goal is something that you want that is measurable in time and space. So when we say time and space, we really mean how much by when. Now, there's a big difference between having an intention and having a goal. An intention is something like, we would like to grow or double our sales. That's an intention. The goal version of that would be, we will increase our sales to $1 million by June 12, 2019 at 5 p.m. The first, I could not come in and say really whether or not that had been done by that specific date and time. The second one with that goal, I can absolutely come in or anyone could come in and say, yes, you do have sales of $1 million or you don't, on June 12th, 2019 at 5 p.m. So a typical process for goal setting is starting at a five-year goal or maybe a three-year goal if you don't plan that far ahead. So you start with something a few years in the future, let's say a three-year goal. You then break that into one-year goals and then from one year you go monthly and then from monthly to weekly and then weekly you have daily goals. And daily goals are what I call the rule of five. And the rule of five is this. You do five things every day that are going to lead to the achievement of your breakthrough goal. So what does that look like? Let's say you are wanting to write and publish a book. That is for you a breakthrough goal. Your rule of five one day might say, number one, find five authors in my LinkedIn network. Number two, contact one of my author connections. Number three, research what publishers want in order to publish a book. Number four, find a book on, perhaps ironically, writing and publishing a book. And finally, number five would be create a list of 10 potential topics. Now, to illustrate the power of goal setting, one of my coaching clients, Harry, had asked me one day, what is the difference between how I'm doing goals now and how I did goals before. And my first question to him was, well, did you achieve any of your previous goals? And he said, no. I said, did you write down your goals? He said, no. Did you have them measurable in time and space? You had a specific date and time of when you wanted these goals to be achieved? No. Did you share your goals with anyone? No. So everything that he did was different. And what was amazing is, Each week that we worked together, Harry would increase his goals. He would put two, three, four X the the number of goals or the size of his goals, and each week he would achieve them. So if you go through this process and you write your goals as they are measurable in time and space, I will have X by this date and this time. It is a very powerful exercise to achieving your goals. And that is a lot different than a lot of people do. And Again, a lot of people have intentions. We want to have goals that we are working towards. So that is it for today. I hope these tips are helpful. What are you doing to unleash the power of goal setting in your life? And what results have you gotten? I want to know. Leave a comment below. I can't wait to hear about it. I'm Robert Dempsey, co-founder of Awesome to the Core, and I will see you in the next video.